He used chalk to express his outrage at Wall Street banks. And now a North Park man is facing several years in prison. Our Nancy Aziz joins us in studio with why he thinks the ordeal he's facing now is much more about politics than any real crime. Nancy. Well, Jeff Olson's charged with 13 counts of vandalism. He says he wasn't vandalizing anything, but simply using his right to free speech when he warned people to move their money out of big banks and into credit unions. He says the big banks have a big friend in the city attorney. Writing messages with chalk on a city sidewalk. That's vandalism under state law, and Jeff Olson set to go on trial for it tomorrow. I think it's ridiculous. Outside the downtown courthouse, Olson admits he penned those messages outside Mid City Bank of America branches in his protest against Wall Street banks in 2011 and 2012. The banks that almost drove this economy into the ditch. My, uh, Chalk drawings are clearly free speech and protected by the First Amendment. During pretrial motions, the prosecution sought to make sure free speech isn't used as a defense. The city attorney wants me to be prohibited from mentioning the First Amendment, freedom of speech, freedom of expression. The attorney defending someone who is charged with crime for speech can't mention. The defense lost that argument and won't be able to use those words. Constitutional law expert Dan Eaton explains the ruling. The First Amendment is not a defense under California law to vandalism. But even before the trial, many are asking how can chalk drawings be considered vandalism? California law, as it is defined now, defines vandalism as uh, defacement by graffiti or other inscribed material. And that includes chalk. Olson says this trial is much more than what he wrote with chalk. Jan Goldsmith has received campaign contributions from Bank AmeriCorps and Merrill Lynch. So, yeah, I think this is mostly about Goldsmith for Mayor 2016. And we tried to reach the city attorney for comment, but were unable to. Those 13 counts of vandalism could land Olson behind bars for 13 years and cost him $13,000.